Scarlet just came in and woke me up, and I just found out it's almost 10 o'clock. Oh my goodness. Luca's still asleep. What is this black magic? I was asleep. Scarlet woke me up. I felt so rested, and I thought, this is odd. So I got up, saw this time, went tearing into his room to check on him. He's just asleep. I did that whole, like, new mom is my baby breathing thing. And he is. So, I feel so rested. We were so late for ballet. When I saw the time, I was like, oh wow, that's nice to sleep in. And then Ryan goes, so you got about five minutes to get out the door. And I was like, for what? Oh my gosh. And the purple is her best friend, Emily. Oh, that's so sweet, Scarlett. They get stickers after ballet, and Emily was sad because she didn't get a purple one, so Scarlett gave her her sticker. Now she has two. Will you dance with Emmy? You guys show me how you, what you learned in ballet? Oh, that's very beautiful. Oh, it's like she's greeting the new day. Very pretty. Oh, that is like you're greeting the new day, huh? She's even greeting the sunshine. <laughs> We've got Tai Chi ballerina and ninja ballerina. There's the sweet ballerinas. <laughs> Salmon candy? Oh, Trader Joe's. You know how to appeal to my weird palate. Kayla lent me her baby carrier and I'm gonna send it back to her, but I wanna send it with some Trader Joe's goodies because they don't have that there. And she said she likes popcorn, but there's far too many options for me to pick. Okay, here's all the different products that are in that category. Yeah, okay, we've got movie theater popcorn, organic popcorn with olive oil, white cheddar corn puffs. Um, what's this? Probably fancy cheese popcorn, I'm guessing. Then there's kettle corn. Air popped popcorn, more white cheddar popcorn, caramel popcorn. They've got a lot of popcorn options here. I'm looking for our favorite ice cream sandwiches. Ooh, I should try those. Where are they? Grits. No, not mint. The mint ones are probably good, but that's not it. Scarlett, what if they don't have our ice cream sandwiches? It's not those ones. This is where they would be because this is where all the sandwiches are. Oh no! Mini cones, smoky. Here they are. Not the s'mores ones, although the s'mores ones are delicious. We will take s'mores if we can't find them. Okay, we're gonna get the s'mores ones. The ones I usually like are a real chocolate chip cookie right here, and then they have little teeny tiny ch chocolate chips around outside vanilla ice cream. They are so good. And they're really good prices too. They're called Sublime. That's what they're called. But I don't see any, unless they're buried. I doubt it. Trader Joe's usually stays really organized. All right, we'll get the s'mores ones. I'm totally gonna try these. I bet they're nowhere near as delicious as real ones, but I can pretend. And I gotta have these at all times. They're my break in case of emergency treat. Do any of you use the home goods or body products at Trader Joe's and love them? I've tried a couple things and I haven't loved them. Like I've tried the citrus body wash. I wasn't that impressed. I tried this moisturizer, eh, whatever. Anybody find a product that they absolutely love from here? I wanna try it, tell me. Tomorrow, since that'll be our last day, we're gonna review things from when I started till now. There is a bunch of stuff that really did progress over the week, like my tomato turned from green to red, so we'll look at it on the last day. Luca can now stand for longer than I could count, actually, and at the beginning of the week, I was counting to like eight seconds or 11 seconds before he would fall. Um, I thought of a third thing, too. I'll remember, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay, ready for the fastest grocery haul ever. We got yogurt, yogurt, wanted to try that. This is Ryan's favorite. These are super cheap and delicious, good to have on hand and good for teething when you give them to frozen babies that aren't frozen but the waffles are frozen, you know what I mean. These look delicious and I thought we could have them with our lunch. These are the treat that I actually went in for and didn't plan to buy any of the rest of this stuff. I like to have those in my cabinet at all times just in case life gets stressful. A power bear usually fixes it for me. Uh, this is really good. It's Ryan and Scarlett's favorite granola. We needed honey, more yogurt. <laughs> These are really good with this tartar sauce, which is jalapeno, but it's not super spicy and I don't really like jalapeno, but I like 
that. This because it was an impulse buy because I was thirsty and wanted it. Luca's gonna start on these. These were a treat for the whole family. That was a treat for Scarlett. This is a treat for Luca. This is a treat for me. And this is a treat for Ryan. Ba bam And those. Oh, and the bananas too. The only reason I don't have any other produce in here is because our full circle delivery was this morning. So I'll show you what we got in that. I'll just add it to the haul. This is how Full Circle is packaging now. Last time we were signed up with them when we weren't just going to the farmer's market and getting our produce, they were in boxes, but now they're all swanky in these insulated bags. Let's open it up together. Okay, inside are recipes. We've got a big head of spinach, which is great because we go through a lot of spinach. Beautiful. Ooh, some lettuce, which is what I wish my garden lettuce looked like. I have this variety out there. It looks nothing like this. Radishes, what my grandma always had in a slight bowl of water in the fridge, and I thought every kid grew up with radishes in their fridge at all times. And in the bags, those are peaches and some apricots. And then the last thing, oh, some beets, it looks like. I have never cooked with beets. I've had like goat cheese and beet salad, but I've never done it myself. Anybody wanna tell me what I should do with my beets? Oh, they actually gave me suggestions for the beets. Spiced pickled beets. Hmm, okay, maybe. And a nectarine mint milkshake. That sounds amazing. I definitely think we'll try that. You guys should try it too. Push pause and you can remember the recipe. This is a hot day snack that Scarlett has loved since she was little. Frozen peas. Fishermen have pools. Fishermen have pools? No pools. Poles, oh, and they catch fish? A fishing pool? Sorry, I was eating peas. Okay. But I'm here to talk with your mouth full. Okay. I love it. Embracing my odd snacking. Pretty soon we'll all be eating salmon candy. What song do you want, baby? Me. We in the submarine. Okay. Ready? Honey told us of his life. her time to sing let it go obviously um okay i've taken my sunglasses off for this we just got a text and lou this is for you we just got a text from um what we were waiting for and yes 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 for the rest of you i normally wouldn't put like secrets in the middle of a vlog because i just don't think that's fun but it, you're gonna be in on the secret so this is just building suspense which i think yeah. is just building excitement it's like waiting to open presents on christmas so you will know soon too what I love about PCC is the kids get to pick out a piece of fruit and they can take it around the store with them and it keeps little fingers busy. Scarlett, what'd you pick? A peach. A peach, yummy. This is funny. First of all, it says, if you see this woman, this is what the note below says. It has a phone number, so I'm gonna just read it to you. But it says, if you see this woman, she was witness pulling a plant from the ground of the botanical garden and stealing it. She put the plant in her stroller. If you know of this woman or her whereabouts, please contact blah, blah, blah. Is that a woman? <laughs> Maybe, I suppose. But how'd they get a picture? <laughs> I don't know, that makes me giggle. I'm on the hunt for that criminal. I'm gonna do a citizen's arrest. So beautiful! <laughs> What's so beautiful? Flower. That one little flower out of everything to see here. She likes that in a field of green. It looks like oh, butterflies. They do look like butterflies. They're pretty. Let's go on it. I've randomly had a song stuck in my head all day. It's one my mom used to sing to me when I was little, and I think I only know one verse, and it is, today is the day they give babies away with a half a pound of butter. She says it when she scoops Luca up out of my arms. Is there any more to that song? Does anybody know? This is her happy place, surrounded by flowers. I was telling Ryan, her name should have been Rose. She's so into gardens and gardening, and this is she would love this more than any playground. Never trust a man walking off into the wilderness. Can you have them, Mom? Sure. Give me that Where'd he go? <laughs> do, 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 do. Hey. Thrust, pivot, parry, enchance. Are those things? I don't know. Yeah, probably. <sighs> dumb camera and your dumb blurry starts. So 
Something about this reminds me of like the Candyland board game. You know, just without the lollipops and gumdrops and sugar buttons and such. That's an airplane! Whoa! That was an airplane! Yeah! See the filthy water, you can be afraid too! I can lean over and see the filthy water. And you can be afraid too. I see my green face. Kiss! Mm, thank you. Look at his little hair. I think that's another thing he has more of than the beginning of the week. Yeah. It's all fluffy. Yeah. He's like a little chicken. <laughs> a little chicken. It's all mussed up in the back. It took Scarlett over two years before she had enough hair to get it mussed up in the back. Come on, babe. Enchantments around every corner. Like a porta potty. All right, folks, it's 10.07 p.m. I still haven't learned my lesson. I should be ending these things earlier because I still have a whole house to tidy and then I have to edit this beast. But, luckily, only tomorrow is going to be our last day. Yeah, we will do one more day for you. I was going to say today's my last day and then I remembered. We will do tomorrow too. It'll be like we're ushering you into Vlogus because there's going to be a ton of other people who are doing daily vlogs for the entire month of August. In fact, if you're one of those people and you're doing Vlogus, why don't you leave a comment down below and tell us all a little bit about your channel. Give us little details about, you know, your world so that it stands apart from others. Tell us if you have an iguana. Why is that the first thing that popped into my head? Make sure you watch tomorrow though because there's been a few things that Ryan and I have discussed and we're like, oh, let's save that for the last day's vlog. So we'll be chatting with you guys about that stuff. Oh, and for all the people who said I look good in the floral dress with the denim jacket from Old Navy, the reason why I didn't get it is not just because of the size four, but all of the zippers were totally broken in all of them. They were only eight bucks on sale because all of the zippers were broken. And I'm not a seamstress, so even though it was only eight bucks, I was like, I can't buy a broken dress but I kind of want to go back and get it. I don't know, what do I do? You tell me. As always, you tell me. Let's end it on tiny ballerina Marie. Come on camera, focus on that. This is me about mm, six years old in the Nutcracker. My mom just gave me this picture. She was like, you look, you are a ballerina too. I was a skinny little thing. It's not cute when you're the skinniest girl in your class and spandex is in style. I spent a lot of my life in some baggy spandex. Good night! See you tomorrow. That's the last time you're gonna hear me say that. <laughs>